What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh shit, hold up. Alright, there we go. Welcome back to another Mooney Mercury Baby Podcast where we talk about real shit, spiritual shit, and all that good shit. You feel me? Alright, so let's get into it. We're going to be talking about the balance between self and the collective and also how guilt plays a role in that. So... The reason why I'm doing this video is because we got a solar eclipse coming up, right? Um, On from an astral perspective, you know, all these energies and Aries, the Aries stellium. So there's a lot of energy and focus on the self, right? So I said, all right, let me go ahead and make a video like this. I was I was going to do a a astrology video on the transits itself, but all the people I watch pretty much hit off damn near every point. So if y'all want more astrology information, I, I suggest y'all go ahead and check out um, for this eclipse, this Aries eclipse today. I suggest y'all go check out uh, Dolo, the pilot man's recent video on it. Uh, Dave Beyond TV has a good video on it. And St. Uno as well. Shouts out to y'all. But let's go ahead and get into this topic, though. No more astrology. You feel me? Um, Although this does have to do with the energies to a certain degree in in one perspective, you know, there's hella different perspectives and contexts we could attach to astrology. This shit's really endless and infinite. But um, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and, and give out this little game. You feel me? Now, the balance between self and the collective, how guilt plays a role in this. And man, this is something I've struggled with throughout my life myself. I would bring up some astrology placements I have that, uh, that, you know, play a role in that, but this ain't about me. So let's actually get into the topic. You feel me? So yeah, the balance between self and the collective, how guilt plays a role in this. Now there's this energy of guilt that is thrown around when you focus too much on self, right? Uh. And sometimes it's justified, you know, Um, if you go to extreme with over focusing on yourself, you could be seen as a narc or uh, a really selfish person that lacks any form of empathy whatsoever, like pretty much too apathetic, which is the opposite of empathetic. So, yeah, sometimes it's justified. But at the same time, you know, there is a such thing as a healthy ego and, you know, putting yourself first. So that way you don't get used and abused and manipulated by the external world, right? And don't become like a weak people pleaser and a panderer and all that shit, right? So to get back to the point, there's this energy of guilt that is thrown around when you focus too much on self. Sometimes it's justified if you go too extreme with that and all you know is your own ego and your own self and what you want and desire, right? But... Sometimes that guilt is not justified because if you don't go to extreme with that self energy, all you're doing is looking out for self first like you're supposed to. You feel me? Um, That's just the way this world is. You feel me to a certain unless you want to sacrifice yourself for other people who aren't taking spiritual accountability to take care of themselves. That's stupid, right? So the reason why I say it's not always justified is because. You do have to be selfish and focus on yourself to a certain degree. Otherwise, you won't have no self-love to be able to maintain yourself without sacrificing yourself to the fucking external unnecessarily, right? But, you know, sometimes guilt gets thrown around if, uh, if people see you as overly selfish or overly self-centered and if they see you as not being... Uh, you know, too, I guess, giving to the world or too selfless for the world when really there's a balance and equilibrium to these things. Don't let people guilt trip y'all for shit that really ain't fully your responsibility anyway. And then that leads me to the second point. There's this energy that gets thrown around where people um, make you feel bad or guilty for the collective, right? Which is this is this side of it this side of the of the convo um this part is damn near never justified 
Why do I say that? Because you are not responsible for the collective as a whole. That's on humanity. Everybody is spiritually accountable for their own spiritual growth. That's on each human dealing with their own shadow work and their lower animalistic natures. That's on the shadow government for not being good leaders and, and leading shit in a better way. And that's and on a deep esoteric level, that's also on every spirit for whatever situation and circumstance they manifest for themselves. Because who knows what people have done in past lives or earlier in life for them to reap what they sow now, even if it seems like they're just a victim of something, right? Shit get deep. That's why you got to be careful with what you feel bad for because you don't know if somebody is reaping what they sow. I'm not going to say it's always like that, but that's why it's good to be neutral and unassuming, for especially for shit you don't know the whole context behind, right? So, yeah, there's this, so like I said, the first point, there's this energy of guilt that gets thrown around when you focus too much on self, which is sometimes justified, depending on how lost in yourself you actually are. But then on the opposite end, there's this energy of you feeling bad or people making you feel guilty for a collective, which is damn near not rarely ever, never justified actually, because you are not, you are not solely responsible for the collective. You're not what y'all humans call god you're not all possibilities you're not infinite growth or expansion and contraction everything became out of nothing what a science is called a universe whatever the fuck y'all want to call that bullshit you're you're not the overall of all these things you're just one part you're you're not what's limitless you're just one limited part of what is limitless right so everything in existence isn't all on you teamwork make the dream work you can't control this whole collective by yourself like a solopolis thinks they fucking can which is fucking just that's some narc shit just that's, that's some ego shit that's some savior complex shit i have a video on on, on the savior complex and shit like that um also now so you're not responsible for these things right um, and I also have a video for the healthy ego, by the way. But so, yeah, there's this energy of you feeling bad or or guilty because people throw around this energy of you got to feel bad or guilty for the collective, which is never justified because you're not responsible for the whole collective for the reasons I said. Everybody's spiritually accountable for their own shadow work and demons and all the other bullshit I said. Um Shout out to uh, Dodo the Pilot Man. He be saying this example of like, they be trying to make you feel bad if you don't donate money to like a, 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 a what's that shit called? A, a charity when really that's not on you because whatever, whatever situation and circumstance that, 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 that took place for the charity to even exist in the first place, that's not your fault. That's more of the shadow government's fault and, and the people's fault for not organizing themselves against that shit, right? Such as third world countries that still, you know, willfully just accept getting paid pennies and barely living by on, on poverty and shit like that. This is shit that's not really on you. And if it and it can't be on you because you can't fix those problems. Those are issues way beyond your control. That's like on some collective shit. But people will try to make you feel bad for not donating to these things, which a lot of times is just fucking scams and schemes. And if that charity really gave a fuck, they would go ahead and, and, and solve the problem themselves or take the initiative themselves rather than asking you for fucking money that and shit when which a lot of them just pocket most of that money because it's a scam or a scheme and like 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 Uriel said before they go over there with expensive ass cameras to film all these starving ass children but but they have money for the fucking cameras but don't have money to actually feed the motherfuckers and shit like that right and then shout out saint uno i recently posted one of his videos talking about um how, how to how to reverse karma and shit like that um, and, and not feeling guilty or bad when the world tries to do this type of shit to you, right? <laughs> Such as, oh, you, though, uh, people may make you feel bad for not tipping when really that's not on you. If the company that hired that worker doesn't want to uh, pay their worker a living wage or a good enough wage or is even on that worker for accepting that, that fucking job in the first place, you feel me? So... Um, 
yeah, th these are different 3D ways on how you know, like the, the energy of guilt gets thrown around and tries to make you feel bad for the collective, right? And then, like I said earlier, there's also this energy of guilt that gets thrown around when you focus too much on self, which is uh, coincides with the guilt, the guilt energy that gets thrown around for you make it, trying to make you feel bad for the collective. So both of these energies like coincide and correspond with each other, right? They're like, they're like damn near almost the same shit, just two sides of the same coin. But, and check it out, there's this struggle or that you may go through this internal struggle where both of these energies will ping pong you back and forward with each other and keep, and keep throwing you off balance to the point where you don't know if you wanna be a overly good person for the world or you don't know if you want to be overly selfish you might experience things in life that that make you be like fuck helping people i don't want to help people no more because um they always make me sacrifice too much of myself and then sometimes in your life you might be like man i'm being uh, man I, I think i'm being too much to my uh in my ego and i'm not and i think i'm being a little too uh greedy and self-centered and selfish maybe i should you know uh, uh go back to the other side of of trying to be more empathetic for the world and shit like that and you'll be ping pong back and forward between these energies right not knowing how to find equilibrium with these energies it's either you're too selfish or you're too or you're too selfless so after enough experiences of being ping after enough life experiences to show you you got to be more selfish or to show you you got to be more selfless because you may feel bad for being more selfish sometimes especially if you react negatively to uh to a situation where you could have been more selfless same way i said if you could have reacted to a situation that causes you to be more selfish and not too selfless this these energies that ping pong you back and forward i'm about to give y'all a tip and solution and a, a solution on how to like find equilibrium with these with these energies so you can ground yourself better and feel more free as a spirit and get rid of that guilt energy right for both sides check it out this is the solution for equilibrium or the right perspective to have when it comes to this type of shit the first thing i want to tell y'all have the intent of being a vessel for all possibilities help expand the collective infinitely and then keep your lower self in check so pretty much if you always intend on expanding and helping the collective um grow infinitely like spreading awareness and um and having that intent having that spiritual mission for for what y'all humans call god or all possibilities and shit like that this will get rid of that 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 narcissistic egotistical guilt energy you may get from being too selfish because you're you know deep down your intent is for the collective and for all right and this is how you will keep your lower self in check from self too much self-indulging or too much self-centeredness and too much selfish ego narc energies of you only caring for yourself right so that's the first thing have an intent uh, of being a vessel for all possibilities to help expand the collective infinitely but at the same time you need to also take into consideration this second thing i'm about to tell you acknowledge and accept that you can only help those who are already actively willing to help themselves that way when you're on your mission for all possibilities to help expand the collective you're aware and you know you're not going to be able to help everybody you can only help those who are willing to help themselves i have a video on that as well um if y'all want more context behind that so this is going to help you not get too deep into the selfless energy because the reason why people dive too deep into the selfless energy or pandering and being a or being a a yes person or or um just a, a people pleaser the reason why the people get into the negative energies of that is because they will usually attract people who will take advantage of them manipulate them for their help to get a boost and these people will never actually help themselves they just want to use and drain your energy because you're being too empathetic right so um this is the part where if you just acknowledge and accept that you can only help those who are already willing and actively helping themselves, this will help you dive too deep from diving in, 
into that selfless energy where you start sacrificing yourself for no reason to people that don't fucking deserve it because they're not even willing to help themselves, right? Or meet you halfway with your help. So if you take into consideration these two things I said, being a vessel for all possibilities with that intent and then also acknowledging that everybody can't be helped because they got to help themselves to a certain degree. If you take into consideration these two things, you will be able to maintain equilibrium and balance and not dive too deep into the selfless, people-pleasing, sacrif sacrificing energies and then not getting off balance to the other side of the narcissistic, self-entitled, self selfish, self-centered energies of only caring too much about yourself, right? That's how you fix that shit. With, with both of these two energies in mind, you can now subjectively balance these energies out to be more free and at peace with yourself without that guilt energy affecting you from both sides. And that's pretty much all I had to say, y'all. This is the balance between self and the collective, how guilt plays a role in this. Hope this helps y'all during this solar eclipse when you rebirth your new you. Um, you know, the North Node is also in Aries and the South Node is in Libra. So, and I have, I have that placement, but in reverse. I have North Node Libra, South Node Aries. So I know all about this shit. And I got Saturn in Aries. You feel me? And I got Cancer in Venus. So it's like, now you see how my energies and alignments play out and, when, and how I can get thrown off from these fucking energies. But yeah, y'all, that's all I had to say. Peace. Hope this helps.